What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you the Bliss 6.4 ROM for the Google Nexus 6. So basically today we'll be taking a look at this ROM, how to flash it and also I'll be giving my full review of this ROM. So basically to flash it you'll first require two things that is first you'll require root and the second thing is you'll require TWRP recovery and also make sure that you have the latest TWRP flashed on your device. So once that's done just reboot into your recovery and then I'll be showing you how to flash this ROM so we'll just wait until it's done so once into TWRP recovery as you can see the latest one is 3.0.20 so make sure that you have that on your device and the first thing you have to do is go into backup and just make a system backup of your ROM so basically if you if something goes wrong you can just uh, restore from the backup so once that's done just go back and hit on wipe so many people do a factory reset but what I like to do is I go into advanced wipe I select the cache data system Dalvik art cache and not the internal storage because of course the ROM is stored in the internal storage so once that's done just hit wipe to wipe and then you're good to go then go into install and uh, select the storage or file location that you have your ROM on so this is the 6.4 angler Download the angler for the 6P and not the Shamu uh, because 6P is codenamed as angler. So just do check that and just download the particular file given in the description as well. So the Bliss ROM and the GApp will be provided in the description. So check the description out again. So once you have flashed everything, just make sure that you reboot your system and then we'll check out the new boot animation that you get on the ROM. So once you have booted up, for some weird reason, I get this error message every time I reboot. So it says that your vendor image may be out of date, but I did flash the latest uh, 6.0.1, the July update that Google just released. I did extract that and I did flash the vendor image from that as well, but still I get this error message saying that your vendor image may be out of date. I don't know what is causing this, but yeah, I get it. So finger is working fine as you can see and I've made a bit of customization already in this ROM so I'll be showing you what I did and also I'll be showing you the full review of this ROM. So once you have booted it up I will just quickly go into settings real quick and I'll be showing you this based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow as you can see and the version the Bliss version is 6.4. So uh, the review of this ROM as I said, I'll be providing you with the pros and the cons that I have uh, noticed in this device. So first I'll be going into the pros. So if I just go into the settings real quick and as you can see there's an option here called Bliss settings. So there are tons of customizations that you can do with this ROM. So you could choose the animations that you want uh, to be toast or default if you want. You can select the window animation scale, transition animation scale and stuff like that. Then going down into buttons as you can see, I did change the navbar buttons as you can see. I've added two extras here. So you could do that as well. You could disable the navbar if you want. You could use the left hand mode if you want. Uh, the buttons and layout as I said, I did customize it. Edit and you could add and you can even delete or you can even add more if you want. So there you can see. So once going back from here, cancel, save. Uh, once going back, you can select the nav bar color as well. So you could like set it to red if you want. There you go. It is now set to red. Uh, then going down to power button, power menu. You could end call and stuff like that. And then going back, you have clock settings. So it's basically uh, the widget that you have on your home screen. So you will you will be able to edit the clock and the temperature of that. Then going to gestures, you could add gestures or remove if you want. Uh, so yeah, you can mess with that when you flash the ROM itself. Then going down to lock screen. So here you can see you can select the lock screen uh, system lock. That is pattern or password or something like that. Then you can show the directly show pattern view. So instead of showing the lock screen itself, you could be able to unlock it directly after you choose this option which is directly show pattern view then going down as you can see here lock screen shortcuts pattern visible show pattern error and stuff like that you could add fingerprints here smart lock if you want double tap to wake or sleep lock screen 
So if you just try, if you have double tap to sleep the lock screen. Uh, okay, so if you are in the lock screen, if you double tap. Nope. So we'll just try that later. Uh, but let's say display music visualizer. You could mess with this stuff, as I said. You could also select a custom wallpaper for your lock screen. So that's a really neat feature. Then going back to recents, as you can see. I do have a clear all button here so but you could also select the RAM memory bar if you want you could select the omni switch if you want so there are as I said tons of customizations so this feature now is a really really neat feature you could actually remove a system app if you want so let's say if you don't use books and stuff you could select that and hit on delete and the app will be deleted permanently from your device so that's a, that's a really cool feature you could also block the wave lock here as you can see so block system wave locks which will i guess eventually increase your battery life of your device but i have no idea in this term so going back again you have the equalizer you have the themes as well so the default one is system one but you could download as many themes as possible from the play store so as this is based on cm so or cyanogen mode rom you could download cyanogen more things as well which will also support this ROM. Then going down you have kernel auditor, sounds, display and lights, all the basic stuff. But only display and lights you get the LCD display density. Uh, so you could customize your or increase or decrease your DPI of a device. So that's a really neat cool feature. Then everything's normal, ambient display, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake. You get these features as well in this ROM. Then going back, uh, you have all the marshmallow features here, memory uh, and stuff like that. Also, if you notice that my status bar here is customized. So also I did that going to bliss settings and you have the status bar option, which I guess I missed. But yeah, you could customize your battery, the status bar icons, your carrier label. As, as I said, I have an HP over here. So you could select that and you could add your custom carrier label if you want. Then also you can uh, display the headset if you want 4G instead of LTE you could do that as well. So yeah there are tons and tons of features in this ROM. So going back I will just scroll down you have the memory which is uh, the marshmallow feature which will basically display how much RAM is left in your device or how much free ROM, free RAM is left in your device. Then going down as you can see you have all the, all the basic things here. You have system profiles, accounts. Super SU, this ROM comes pre-rooted, so there you can see it's pre-rooted as well. New user, and it's running something. Okay, installing backup script, no thanks. Then going back here, going to developer options. So you can like select the, um, let's see, the root access to apps and ADB. So I prefer selecting that which will basically give you full root access so yeah that's there then going back again uh, if you go into about bliss we'll just check it out again it's 6.4 bliss and you have the android version to be 6.0.1 also the security patch level is june but you can get the updates so if you go into updates you will get the ot updates for the serum as well so there's a new update available already so i'll be downloading that later so now going into the cons and i'll be telling you the bugs that i went through the force closures that i went through in this rom so the first bug i noticed that was a messenger bug so this morning i was like sending a text to my dad and instead of sending the message the entire system froze and i couldn't even send the message or i couldn't even go back I couldn't even type new message the only thing left was a reboot option so i had to reboot it and then get it working the next con here uh, is the network of this rom the network is pretty pretty bad as you can see i still have no network but i used to get the network in my in the stock rom of the 6p but this rom sucks in radio and also about the vendor image even after flashing the latest one, I still get the error uh, uh, saying that my vendor image is out outdated. So I don't know why that's happening, but yeah, I still get that error. Also in general, this ROM lags a lot. Seriously, like uh, even when I play a music in the Google Play Music app, it freezes for no reason. Seriously, uh, this ROM freezes a lot. I happen to be rebooting this device like 
every hour or so so i have been rebooting this for like 10 or times in a day so yeah today was like 5 or 6 times a day but yeah it freezes a lot also because of that i couldn't check the battery life of this device but yeah i think it'll get roughly around 3 to 3 and a half to 4 hours of run time not more than that but yeah this phone lags a lot serious so coming on to the smoothness you could have guessed it already as i said this phone lags a lot this is not at all smooth there's an update as i said there's this update here which i guess will eventually fix the freezing or lagging of the device but if it doesn't i don't recommending flashing this rom on a 6p my 6p never did lagged or freezed until now but after flashing this rom for some reason uh, my 6p started lagging also i thought that maybe i didn't flash it correctly so i flashed it twice and both the times i got the error so i don't know if there are tons of bugs in this rom or there's some there's there's another reason for this but yeah this rom lags a lot seriously uh, so if you want a smooth experience i suggest not flashing this rom on 6p you should go flash android and beta so that's actually really fast than this rom is so what else all the apps are running fine instagram is running fine then twitter is running fine as well every other app is working fine recent is working fine as you can see camera is good so if i just open the camera and if i just like take a picture real quick so focus and snap the pictures tend to come really really good as you can see no issues whatsoever in camera department also the next thing i noticed was the dialer so if i were to make a call and if i make a call the phone freezes for no reason like i may i made a call to my friend this morning and the fo- phone freezed so i don't know why this is happening the phone is freezing like crazy so i guess they'll be fixing this in the next update uh, so let's hope that they'll be fixing it in the next update also for some reason chrome app lags a lot so i don't know why that's happening but chrome app also lags a lot snapchat is obviously lagging in android so there's no big deal about it but yeah chrome is lagging all the basically all the stock apps not all but almost all the stock apps are lagging over here also as i said the battery life is not at all good uh but yeah there's there's no smoothness battery life is worse freezes a lot lags a lot and yeah many more issues in this rom so if they fix it in the next update i'll be flashing it again but for now i'll be going back to the stock rom that is either the marshmallow or android n so i've been using android n for like when for from like when it got released the beta 1 and even before that but yeah this rom is even worse than that so yeah hopefully they'll fix it in the next update if not they're bad but yeah for now i'll be flashing the n beta again because that works really good rather than this rom but yeah that's been guys thank you for this video also suggest me some roms to be flashed on 6p and i'll be making videos on them as well but anyways that's been it if you have any video ideas just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making videos on them as well but yeah that's been it thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and do not flash this rom if you want stability and no freezes on your phone But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one.